All right. Let's get on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, y'all ain't ready for this. Y'all ain't ready for this. Watch, watch this. Watch, watch out now. Watch out. Watch out now. Hold on. Watch this. Huh. Me, 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 me. Way down in the jungle deep, the lion stepped on the signified monkey's feet. He said, Mother, can't you see? You standing on my goddamn feet. Dolomite. Anyways, y'all ain't ready for that. Let me talk to y'all real quick. Talk to y'all real quick about this here movie. That y'all ain't, uh, don't worry about that right there. Don't worry about that, all right? So, we're going to talk about this here movie real quick. I don't know if y'all haven't watched it, sainted. Don't you hate that, commercials? Like, they drink something that's, like, so refreshing that they got just... I never understood that. It ain't that, it ain't that great. Sometimes. Anyways, so, this movie here... That came out on Netflix last year called Dolomite. Dolomite is my name. It is a movie. Hold on. Give me just a second. I think that's crazy right now. So, they got a 7.3 out of 10 on IMDb. Should have got a 10 out of 10 if you ask me. 97% on Rotten Tomatoes. Come on now. So, it's about a performer named Rudy Ray Moore develops an outrageous character named Dolomite. Dolomite. Who becomes an underground sensation and a star of a kung fu anti-establishment film that could make or, or break more. It came out in September 7th of 2019. The director was Craig Brewer. Nominations for Golden Globe Award for Best Motion Picture, Musical or Comedy, and plus many more. So let's go ahead and get into the cast. This man right here, the OG, played by Rudy Ray Moore, Eddie Murphy, Wesley Snipes was on it. Uh oh, Devine. I hope, hope I'm pronouncing her name the right way. Devine Joy Randolph, uh, Titus Burgess, Craig Robinson, Keegan Michael Key, Cody Smith, Smith uh, McPhee, Michael Epps was in this as well. It, oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. Yeah, Mike, Mike Epps was in this as well. Snoop Dogg, Lunell, Chris Rock was in this? I'm going to see Chris. I got to go back and watch it. Uh, Chelsea, Chelsea Gilson, Ron Jones, Tasha Smith, T.I. was in it. Uh, this this was a, this cast, man, it, it was ridiculous. So pretty much getting to Dolomite, not too many people knew about Dolomite, I didn't know about Dolomite until I want to say that uh, I, when I was a kid and watching Baby Kids, Robin Harris, he would always talk about Dolomite. And, you know, I didn't know what, it, what who or what Dolomite was. I just thought it was funny because somebody of a comedic, you know, stature like Robin Harris would, you know, say, come on, you're going to watch Dolomite. You hear on on house party. I used to tell a play. You know, he tell a kid, like, hey, man, I thought we could stay home and watch Dolomite, you know? So I didn't know much about it. It was something that my parents, you know, kept me far away from. And uh, if you go back and listen to, this tapes are actually on YouTube. You can hear Rudy Ray Moore, Dolomite, the Dolomite character, uh, talk that smack. Um, <laughs> it's, it's funny. Um, if you speak with enough conviction, you can fool anybody. You know, that's something that I learned from, you know, just... You just learn it all the time. My, my college professor would say that, you know, uh, McDonald's has a burger, has, has a Whopper, you know, something like that. Or you make it believable and people will believe you, I guess. So, and that's what Rudy Ray wore, but that's just a tip iceberg. This man was a hard worker. He was, as the movie started off, 
He's down on his luck. He's a comedian. Not that great at being a comedian. And, you know, the club owner just lets him, you know, he, I guess they worked out some type of deal. They're just so cool where they, he just lets Rudy go ahead and um, pretty much uh, work out his little stand-up. So, yeah, while he's uh, working at a record store. Uh, and Rudy had big dreams. And he, he's like that person from L.A. that had those big dreams, big goals, but he just didn't have a whole lot of talent. You know what I'm saying? So he got tired of being where he was at. People making fun of him, saying he's not going to be, you know, he just has no talent whatsoever. So he went out and he made something of himself. And I admire that. I admire that a lot. It's, it's he... He's that one person, like Eddie Murphy, I was watching some of the uh, interviews. He's that person that you can say no to, but he's going to keep working hard until he get a yes. And you can't do nothing but admire that, you know, no matter how crazy of an idea he comes up with. And you'll see some crazy ideas throughout the film where, let's say, for example, when he's making one of his films and somebody comes up to him and say, hey, we have no electrical power. And then he'll look out the window and say, well, why can't somebody just climb up on that roof right there and, and connect the electrical outlet to something else, another electrical outlet, or the stitch cords, the electrical outlet can't even talk, and we'll have power. They're going to do it. So it's like he he finds ways to get things done in a creative way or crazy way, and he's making his own films. People look at him, and he doesn't look like the typical uh, ideal <laughs> action star hero. He's fluffy. I don't want to call the brother flat, fat or anything. He's fluffy, out of shape. He he puts on a wig. He's got a receding hairline. Hence the wig I'm rocking right now. This fro. Let your soul go. So, and that's what he does. He gave. He helped a lot of people. Put a lot of people. Uh, he, a lot of people that didn't have jobs or didn't or was just you know, around them that worked with them. He helped them get jobs. And you know. I admire that because it's just, it's something kind of like what what I'm doing, even though people and friends and I work with have jobs, but it's just taking something and taking an idea and creating something out of nothing, taking it, taking it and run with it. See, that's the beauty of it, and that's what it is. You just don't have, you have a dream, you have a goal, you set it, you go for it, and there's some inspiration behind that right there. And I can't do, I mean, you just can't do nothing but admire it. It's, it's. Amazing film, funny. Eddie Murphy is sharp as ever. Uh, it felt like he, you know, never left. You know, I can't. You know, he done uh, some a few films here and there throughout the years or whatever. But it's just that when he, when he has like a big film, it's like he's still sharp as sharp as ever. He wants to bring that game, and uh, I can't do nothing but uh, but applaud Eddie for that. I'm still waiting on it coming to America too. That's supposed to come out later this year. But um, because of the coronavirus, it's not going to happen. So, um, this right here, Dolomite. Yeah, so I been saw it a long time ago. I just felt that it was a, it was a movie that I watched earlier. reminded me of Eddie. We're going to get into that next review soon. Hold on. judge me. Uh, been a long day. So, eh, anyways. Woo. Man, um, Dolomite. If you have seen it, what do you think about it? What do you think about the characters around it? You, let's discuss this film. Uh, if, uh, it's on Netflix. Been on there for a while. Uh, like I said, if you haven't watched it, haven't seen it, I don't know what's stopping you. Go ahead and watch it, man. Uh, or ma'am. You'll enjoy it. It's funny. It's good. You'll be inspired by it. Um, a little couple new scenes in it, uh, just give you a heads up. Um, of course, you know, Rudy Ray Moore, he has a foul mouth, so you don't get all of that foul mouth within this film, but if you go back and listen to his tapes that you can find on YouTube, you will get every piece of that foul mouth. Because way down in the jungle deep, the lion stepped on the signified monkey's feet. Okay, I ain't gonna get into it. Just, just, just go look at that. Look, watch Dolomite and tell me what you think. Until uh, then, you guys have a good one. Love, peace, soul. Dolomite.
way down in the jungle deep. Vine stepped on the signified monkey feet. I've got to stop, buddy. Dolomite, 